say goodbye to that beautiful weather that we've been experiencing because the rain set in this morning and guess what? It's still here and it has been heavy at times, especially west of Lexington, specifically Louisville. We'll show you the numbers coming up, but this is what it looks like in Lexington. Our St. Joseph Hospital live with our camera overcast, dreary and wet. You can see the crawl running at the bottom of the screen. There is a flash flood watch in effect that we'll talk about, but look at the 24 hour rainfall totals overnight early this morning. A band of heavy rain set up right along the Ohio River, and they've had anywhere between two inches in Covington to over three inches of rain in Louisville. Frankfurt has had over an inch and a half, and we've had over a half an inch in Lexington. Look how fast the numbers drop off to pretty much nothing in our southeastern counties. So heaviest rain has been out to our west. The Kentucky Mesonet backs that up way outside the viewing area out west. Meade County had almost five inches of rain. Shelby County over two and a half. So there are folks that have been swamped. It's been dry enough lately that we've handled it okay without any major flash flooding issues, but still a whole lot of rain and it is still falling. Cynthiana on the max track running down through Lexington. You got spotty showers, some thunder, some lightning down towards Bowling Green. Southwestern County is getting some rumbles of thunder, but at least a break in the action west. There's a flash flood watch that's in effect through four o'clock this afternoon along the Ohio River. So big picture, we've got a stalled front and a pretty much stationary wave of low pressure. All this is gradually going to start to work its way east, but out ahead of it, between that and a ridge of high pressure southeast down along the uh, southeast coast, we've got this really effective moisture feed. So we've just got this Gulf moisture running in. It's kind of running up between that low and this high, this Bermuda high uh, that is uh, set up uh, along the southeast coastline there. So it's a great way to wring out a lot of moisture overhead, and unfortunately, we're feeling the impact of it. Now, it's been a little bit of a split forecast so far. Most of the rain this morning has been along the Ohio River and here in the Lexington and uh, Bluegrass area, but southeastern counties have been high and dry. You're likely going to see some development later on today, and some of the storms may be strong. We are still under a marginal risk from the Storm Prediction Center for a uh, few storms. It could be strong to severe, and it's much the same tomorrow, although the, the tension shifts a little more in the southeastern county. So future track shows the evolution of this morning round in through the afternoon. Gradually some redevelopment later this afternoon and this evening. So it's just going to come in waves. We'll catch breaks, see waves, another round overnight. This is getting into Friday morning and then Friday afternoon. Another pop of possibly some strong storms pushing through. We've got you through Saturday and Saturday still has shower and storm chances in it. So very active weather all the way through the end of the week and even into the weekend. Rounds of strong storms and heavy rain. We'll have to keep an eye on those into the afternoon. Again, southeastern counties didn't see much of anything today so far. You will by later on this evening and overnight. Shower storms likely and then those additional rounds coming at us Friday. Highs pretty consistent, low to maybe mid 80s at times, generally low 80s. We'll uh, be on the cloudy and of course cooler side thanks to all the rain. We finally do see the rain tapering off late in the weekend, hopefully catching a little bit of a break Sunday before more of it potentially cranks up Chris early next week. Something